Tatsumi's wave, the best boy. Who's even close to being better than him? Tatsumi, get out of here. Run, more like run away. No one is even matching this man because he is a man and all the others are boys. So what is this man like? You know, the standard stuff. But what does he love? The sea and all her creatures. His country and all its citizens. And he loves Karame. We'll talk about that later. But for now, we're talking about other stuff. He is 50% of the morality and normality on the Jaegers. The other 50% being run. They're the only two who didn't do anything wrong. On the Jaegers, at least. But Wave is also incredibly naive. Growing up in the frontiers of the Empire, he doesn't know how bad the capital actually is. But after spending some time there, he figures it out. Moving on to his history. And we know barely anything about it, so this will be short. We know he was born in the frontiers of the Empire by the sea. And that he's a true Navy man. When he was in the Imperial Navy, he somehow came to possess Grand Chariot. His Imperial Arms. Grand Chariot is the finished version of Tatsumi's Incursio Imperial Arms. Having better offensive capabilities than Incursio. But not being able to turn invisible like Incursio. But it can fly. Like Tatsumi's armor, it increases the user's strength and speed. And also acts as some pretty strong armor. After having his Imperial Arms for some time, he's pulled out of the Navy and sent to the capital. Under the orders of General Esdeath. To be part of her special police force. That's right, the Jaegers are actually police. They're just under direct control of the military. So I guess that makes them military police? But that doesn't sound as scary. Once he arrives in the capital, his role in the Karma Kill begins. I mean, we're like nine episodes in, but this is episode one for Wave. In this episode, he has a horrible introduction to Bowles and gets his ass beat by his death. But it's okay. After she beats his ass, she gives him the chance to redeem himself. After she kidnaps Tatsumi, she gives him the important role of not letting him escape. But Tatsumi escapes quite easily. And Wave has to face his death's fury. Later on, after Dr. Stylish's death, Suryu is devastated because he made her the monster that she is today. So Wave, being a true gentleman, proclaims that it's his solemn duty as a man to cheer a woman up when she's sad. But Esdeath beat him to it, so Koromei has to cheer him up instead. These two are pretty close friends now. And I gotta say, I don't really do shipping, but this? This? I ship this. They're perfect together. A girl who doesn't care and a boy who does. It's a match made in heaven. Later, after Dr. Stylish's danger beast got away because he was dead so he couldn't keep them in their cages, Wave sees a bunch of people reacting the same way he reacted when he first met Bowles. Only Bowles saved their life and they were still terrified of him. But Korame reminds him that he did the exact same thing when he first met Bowles. He and Korame are then sent on a mission to protect some tax collector lord dude because they believed that Night Raid were targeting him. And they were right. But the only reason they found out they were right was because Chelsea got to him and killed him first. He's then treated to Soyu, explaining to him that she executed some thieves just for stealing some food, because they were hungry. Because the capital is so corrupt that no one has any money. It's at this point Wave realises just how bad the capital really is. The Jaegers then go out to get Night Raid, because they believe that they've split up. So they split up as well. The A team goes one way, and the B team being Wave, Koromei, and Bowles go another. Once they move out, the B team runs into this scarecrow thing. But it wasn't a scarecrow, it was this guy! And he launches Wave to Narnia, maybe even further than that. The point is, bro is gone for like the next three episodes. Once he returns from Narnia, the Jaegers are sent to defend this religious lord guy and immediately get sidelined because he has his own version of the Jaegers. But this was a good thing because Koromei is very very dying. So Wave takes care of her. Then the religious lord guy dies, along with his version of the Jaegers. So both the actual Jaegers and the fake Jaegers failed at the one thing they were trying to do. So you might be thinking, things are going quite badly for Wave. Well, brace yourself because they're about to get worse. The next thing he does is try and stop the woman he loves from dying in a duel before being manhandled out of the way and told to watch. He then watches the woman he loves die. But luckily for Wave, this was not the last sad thing he sees. Because the capital is being destroyed. By the Emperor. And Tatsumi is the only person trying to stop him. And Tatsumi fails, so the Emperor prepares to squish him. But Wave saves him and tries to reason with the Emperor. But, but the kid is like nine years old, so good luck with trying to convince him of anything. So having tried everything, and by everything I mean shouting at a nine year old, Wave switches sides. Because what's the point in trying to defend a city from an invasion when the Emperor of the city is destroying more of it than the invaders could have ever hoped to do? For his treason, the Emperor sends a laser bolt straight at Wave, <laughs> and that's Wave completely out of the fight. Later, after the fighting is done, he leaves the capital for a hill with Run, so they can visit Koromei's grave, and they promise her that they'll help the new world and make it better than the one they fought to preserve. He then looks up and says goodbye to her's death, and laughs about Tatsumi not being able to escape her, even in death. And that's where Wave's story ends. After the Empire falls, he helps to rebuild a new nation in his ashes. After all that happened, and all that he'd fought to protect, he continues to protect it in the new world they created, because he was never fighting to protect the Empire, just the Empire's people. And that's who Wave is. If you enjoyed, remember to subscribe because I make lots of videos just like this one. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!